Hello, Rock of Roseville. Hi. My name is Gunner. I'm Emily. And we have our little baby Lucy in the background. So if you hear the squeaking, yes. that is her. Yes. Today we're going over the last three chapters of the book of Judges. And they're pretty intense chapters. They're the kind of chapters in the Bible that most people probably wouldn't meditate on, but they yeah. would simply read through them and be stunned and move on. We see, again, there's no king in Israel in those days and everyone is doing what they see right in their own eyes. And so we see the story of a Levite whose concubine is unfaithful to him. And he goes... A Le Levite has a concubine. So we know we're off to a bad start. Right. Anyway. We have the people who are called to be set apart and to be holy, uh, which makes the story even worse. Yeah. And this, this Levite goes to, to get back his concubine, which he clearly views as his property. And after getting her, he continues on his journey. And they arrive at this town called Gebeah, and no one takes them, them in. They have no hospitality, which in that culture, it's a very hospitable culture. It would be expected that someone would take them in, provide uh, food, shelter, protection. So another traveler ends up taking them in. And we see the wicked people of this town come and want to have sex with this newcomer, with the Levite. And... Instead, the Levite saves his own skin by forcing his concubine out and gives, that, gives his concubine to the, to the wicked men of this place. And so we see everything unravel from here in just heinous act after heinous act. And again, these, these were wicked things that even in those times were deemed as abhorrent yeah. and, and evil, just as we would in our day. And we see this ultimately turn into a civil war. And what's fascinating is you see justice served without God. You see Israel, you see this Levite who doesn't even say that he forced his concubine out to protect himself. He says it as if by happenstance she was brutally raped by all these wicked men. And we see Israel go against the tribe of Benjamin. And Benjamin refused to give up these these few wicked yeah. people that did this horrendous thing. And we see what it looks like for the people of Israel to fully function without a king, without God, without a true, stable, moral compass, without anyone who is truly after the heart of God. Yeah, yeah, and, and it, if we tie that into just the reality of, of our human nature, we have always needed a king. Humans need a king. They need direction because when they're left to their own devices, evil happens, bad stuff happens. Um, and that's, I feel like this final, these final chapters in Judges really bring that just to full, um, the light is fully shed on that reality and the need for a king. And so one of my biggest takeaways from these difficult chapters in the book of Judges is it sandwiched between, again, the lines that there was no king in those days and everyone did what was right in their own eyes. And we see the depravity of man. We see, again, what man is capable of yeah. without light, without being humble and seeking God. And we see God still there as Israel asked and inquired of the Lord if they should go up against Benjamin. Yet we see them defeated on two occasions before Benjamin is finally defeated. Yeah. And again, they're, they're brothers fighting brothers. This is not true justice. This Israel did not ask God if they should go up against the tribe of Benjamin. They just did it and then asked God in the midst of their horrible situation and acting in their own righteousness that they determined this is the right thing to do. Yeah. And so what you see is you're left with that longing, as Emily pointed out, this longing for a righteous king, this longing for a permanent end to such evil and wickedness. And you see the longing for a true king, which is the King Jesus. And we see yeah. this contrast be between light and darkness. We see this void of holiness as the Levite represents, is meant to represent someone set apart for the Lord. And yet he's walking in his own cultural norms, viewing women simply as property and standing up for himself, protecting himself. And so I just believe as followers of Jesus that this is 
uh, a section of scripture that should call should call cause us to cry out for the holiness of Jesus to be yeah. fully represented in our own lives in our homes and we are not to be like the culture around us we're not to settle for what the culture deems is right and wrong but we're to look to the righteous judge to King Jesus for what is holy what is true and with that we are to be the light of the world and so that concludes the book of Judges we hope that this devotional series was a blessing to you and we pray that the Holy Spirit highlights truth and reveals truth to you in this devotional